Hello there, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see here. We have the Nine of Ghosts, the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Bats or the King of Swords in this deck. And we have the Sun. So we have some Leo and Libra coming through here. And we have the Magician. Gemini and this one wants to come off the four of pumpkins the four of pentacles interesting this one looks like um, kind of reminds me of the seven of pentacles because we're like sowing some seeds here um, you know really in, like investing in something okay one more card wants to come off the top of the deck here the ten of bats the ten of swords all right so looks like this person's trying to really maintain their composure with you so with the nine of cups and the sun being here this indicates to me that this person has a lot of feelings for you um, overall they feel extremely positive about you and the connection however they're very much guarding their heart trying to really stay in control here with the king of swords and the magician I feel it's because they are maybe still holding on to some past pain probably from another relationship ending um, and they're still like trying to keep their stability from that so I feel they're still very guarded about opening up to another person bringing another person into their garden so let's see here anything else this person is just trying to keep things really balanced. They they have the tendency to just go into a total just overflow of feelings and desire and emotion for you. I feel like this is someone who does really like to fall in love. They fall in love very easily, but with age and time, they have learned to meter that and slow themselves down. Um, inter interesting with the Four of Pentacles and the Cosmic Egg, I usually take the Four of Pentacles as someone who's really trying to hold tightly onto something. So they could really see what a prize you are and are really trying to hold on to you. Um, really interested in investing in this so you know they don't want to lose what they have with you. Here is Standing Firm, Defense, Resistance, Courage. You are standing firm against any challenge. Okay, yeah, this person is still trying to really keep their balance keep the progress they have made maybe with their emotional healing or anything they've done maybe with their finances and their career they're like it's so important for me to stay in balance so that way i don't lose any of my um, hard-earned progress this could be someone who's really working towards something in their career as well like they're working to win some kind of reward prize or just some kind of recognition standing firm so yeah i feel like this person isn't ready to fully open up but I feel it's because they are someone who wants to when they are with someone they want to stay very stable with them they want to stay committed to them and here's trick-or-treat mischief and play okay this is funny because we have this very childlike stuff coming through with the Sun here the magician so just for a few of you watch out if this person is trying to like just a trick you play any tricks on you um, but I, I do feel for most of you, this is a connection where they are just guarding themselves emotionally. They're not ready to open up in that way. So let's clarify this trick or treat card. This could also even be literal if you guys have plans to like go trick or treating or something together or just have some awesome Halloween plans coming up. Um, we have the three of ghosts, the three of cups. So yeah, right now I feel like they're more... Um, interested in like keeping friends around them um, rather than being ready to go into that two of cups just yet because this this feels like a very traditional solid person the hierophant here and they don't give their commitment lightly or easily doesn't mean they never will just this is how they are they could this could be someone who is working through a divorce right now with this king of swords and the ten of swords and they're still trying to figure out how do I um, how do I face life on my own two feet so it's like they're like planting seeds for new life they're rebuilding their life right now and so it's like they they've learned that they need to just take things more in a playful way here's the three of wands and we have the Emperor Aries here and we have the seven of wands okay I'm gonna clarify this three of wands I do feel like this person's really looking out for themselves right now you guys I'm not feeling like they don't care about you it's just they have the focus more on themselves 
Okay, and here's the Six of Wands. Yeah, they really do have their eye on like achieving some kind of success or recognition right now. And so that's kind of pulled them away from doing too much of the relationship thing. So I feel like this is saying like you guys are probably a real prize and I feel like they understand that and they see that about you and they're just not, um, they they feel like they don't have like the energetic resources to give you the time and attention you deserve. So I feel there is a recognition of that here. Because the Seven of Wands is someone who is just really battling through life on their own and is kind of exhausted. They don't have a lot of extra energy. They're running on adrenaline. All right, here's the Eight of Cups. So I'm getting that this, with the Sun and the Nine of Cups, this person, despite maybe their hardened exterior um, and their, more of their focus on themselves, I feel like they really enjoy your attention. You do very much do something for this person. I haven't had a reading like this in a while, you guys, where the person seems just really focused more on like their career, on, um, on more on themselves and just not being ready to open for a relationship. I used to get a lot more. Here's the Two of Cups. So I feel like they do want a relationship eventually, but it's kind of one of those things where it's going to be a little bit farther down the road. You know, they, they see it as they got to take a, a journey and be ready for it because right now they do try to keep their emotions out of like too many emotions out of their other interactions or their interactions with other people. They like to just be in the moment and enjoy because that's what I get from the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups a lot. It's kind of just a being in the moment with someone and not trying to put like a label on it. This person's an interesting mix of like stern and serious I'm getting and plus just really playful and yeah, like a, like kind of a trickster. Someone who likes to pull pranks or something. And here's the High Priestess. So it's, this is interesting too. I feel like this person does treat like um, a relationship like this or a marriage, a commitment as something very sacred. And so they, they know that they're not ready for that just yet. So I feel like they do not want to like lead you on in that direction. So anything else about this high priestess? I hope this is making sense for you guys. <laughs> It's a little different than a reading I've had for a while. So if it doesn't feel like you're reading, you can try another pile if you want to. Here's the Page of Swords. I feel like this person, it, like they can't help being very interested in you. You are the, like, this endless mystery to them. That's what keeps them coming back or keeps them very drawn to you. So I do feel like there's always going to be this interest in you, like wanting to know what's up with you. Um, they could also see you as, like I said, they do see you as a prize. Um, you know, someone who is just they would love to be with um, if they were ready for this relationship. So I feel like they want to just kind of see how things go and develop together like through the coming months and then see where they are with their career, their financial situation, maybe um, if they're ending a relationship, if they've moved on enough from that and then they want to just see how things play out. But they don't want to get emotionally involved just yet because then they know that they're just kind of, they feel kind of screwed if they get emo like too emotionally committed and, evolve and involved. And it's like because of protection to protect themselves and to protect you because they wouldn't want to show up for you emotionally and then like something shatters and then they have to pull back and then both of you are just really in a bad place. So yeah, I'm getting it's like protection for you as well. All right, so let's see what else we got. Some more Oracle decks. How else are they feeling about you, pile three? We have the magnifying glass, number 44. So interesting, this coming up at the Page of Swords, I feel like they are trying to figure out, analyze, study every detail about you. So I do feel like this means there is like an intense interest in you. And we have the masks, number 40. Interesting with this like Gemini card coming up here as well. So yeah, I do feel like this person has two sides, that like more playful trickster side. And I feel like you're you're drawn into that. That's maybe how they drew you in is because they seem fun and happy and exciting. But then they have this other just really serious side that's just like, no, 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 no. I can't indulge that playful side of me. I got to get down to business. I got to stay organized. Got to stay on top of things. I can't let myself slip. Um, they don't trust themselves to just not get totally carried away with when they're in a pleasurable situation. 
Like they might have kind of an addictive personality. Oh wow, this is the exact card I was thinking of, you guys. The Garden and the Gate, number 30, with um, this Four of Pumpkins, Four of Pentacles here. For a few of you, maybe this person has a garden. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's like they are protecting themselves, keeping themselves safe. I feel like this is how they see you as well, where if you guys were together like in a committed relationship they would just want to just keep you like safe from the world just kind of like have you i feel it's like they want you as their own little secret or something that's just what i'm getting from that card and not necessarily with bad intention it, it could just be that they don't want anyone coming in and interfering with the relationship they just want you guys to have your own little world together all right, and then we have Deep Knowing, number 43. Interesting. Okay, so this person could know and recognize more about you than they come across. Because, again, I feel like this person comes across as kind of a jokester, but they do have this, like, wiser side to them. All right, and then here's No Place Like Home, number 50. And... All that glitters, number 16. All right, so I feel like this person does have a deep knowing of what really and truly matters in life. Um, but they still have this part of them that is like going for the gold, like just really going after some kind of trophy or something, um, some kind of big goal. Um, and I feel like this this divides them because on the one hand, all they want is just a comfortable home and family. That's the most important thing to them. But on the other hand, they just feel so drawn to have this success and achievement. So what is this deep knowing about exactly? Here's the three of wands. Yeah, they, they have like some kind of vision for their future. This could be a deep knowing that there's more for both of you in store. If you guys just let this develop naturally, let things progress. Um, you know, freely and easily without pushing things too much. What else? All right. And then we also have the lamb. Okay. So this person does have a softer side to them that I feel they, they keep hidden. And here's the bee. I feel like they hide it behind just um, the amount of work they do. There's a lot of sweetness here as well, both the lamb and the bee. So I feel this person appreciates your sweetness. That's a quality that they really like about you that they haven't found with someone else, like the same degree in <laughs> fire ant. All right. So, okay. This person feels like, um, I feel, yeah, with the, this feels like the seven of wands to me here, where this person is, is kind of in an emergency fight mode right now, just like a lot of adrenaline going on. They just have a lot to handle, and I feel like they, they're like, I'm just not in a place to give you the best of me right now. I have so much going on, just so much buzzing around me. So yeah, I do feel things are a little chaotic for them. They are trying to take big control of their life right now. Here's Dolphin. This person, they just do want to have fun and play like all day, every day. So it's very hard for them to have stepped into this role of this more serious business-like type person because, um, so that's why they're doing everything they can to maintain this control. So this is an interesting reading, you guys. So I feel like this is um, more, it's one of those readings more about like their psychology and what's going on with them so you can understand their behavior more than what's like how they're feeling about you. And that's, the reading's probably just coming through that way because maybe that message will help you the most. All right, and then we have rigid number 30. Yeah, they're like, if I don't stay rigid to my routine and to what I see for my future and my goals, and then I am just going to fall apart and be a big mess because they just like to indulge and party is what it feels like. All right, then we have strength number 35. It takes an enormous amount of strength for them to do this just to like maybe get out of bed and just go do their routine, do their work every day. It's like huge um and here's belonging number 41 so interesting we have two cards about belonging no place like home so 
Oh, this could be what this deep knowing is about that this person knows that you guys have some kind of like deep soul connection. There's something very special between you two because you have managed to make this person feel very safe with you, very at home with you. I feel that this person does, they either have already opened up more than they would with someone else or they feel like they could. So this is one of those things where I feel like, um, patience is needed if you guys feel good in your heart about this connection and you feel at ease and peace with it then it could just take a little bit of time and patience because we do have forward movement here with um the three of wands that that is like like seeing a positive future um going in a positive direction okay then we have surrender to the divine full moon and don't let your past hold you back south node and the moon can be all about the past as well so this person really is trying to make a big change in their life um i feel like they, they're holding so firm to being this new person instead of um you know who they've always been in the past um uh, you know someone who just really just just giving into temptation they it feels like their life was a little bit of a mess too i feel like they've done a lot to put things in order and clean things up i feel like they're, they're pretty proud of what they've done so far actually so this is someone who is working on some for most of you they are working on some serious personal growth which is awesome um and on the bottom of the deck we have expect powerful change new moon eclipse so that seems to be what is going on in this person's life. They are wanting to make themselves into like a totally new person, someone that's unrecognizable to who they were before. All right, here's divine timing. So interesting, two things about timing. Surrender. Yeah, this person is just like, let's just be in the moment and see how things go. The time's not right at this exact moment. And here's all of me, loves all of you. Interesting. And here's reflect. All right, I'm gonna clarify this as well. Here's justice. This is interesting because this is the first like really like loving thing that is coming through um, in this reading. Like because I feel like this um, this person has a really good appreciation for you. They love being around you. They love how they feel with you. But I haven't been feeling like all these loving feelings come coming through. So it could be one of those things where they could really see themselves falling in love with you um, farther down the road. But you know I feel like they need time to like think about their own life and they have to they bring they definitely bring their rational mind into love where they're going to think through okay are we a good fit together they need time to make sure you guys are a good match your lives will work together you guys will help build each other up and then they're like okay that's when I'm going to allow myself to open my heart and fall in love and you know maybe come into this partnership here with this justice card All right, we have the moon again. Wow. Um, you will be guided through darkness. All right, so yeah, it seems like for a lot of you watching, this is probably a lot of just unknown stuff going on right now in this connection. So just do what you can. Do your best every single day, pile three, and um, try not to worry too much about what will be the outcome of this connection. If, um, if it helps you, then definitely if this person has not made a commitment to you or like really discuss that with you, then definitely keep your your options open, you know, keep your options open for other wonderful people to come into your life as well that can help just loosen things up. It always, um, it it's, can be very frustrating when you're very much holding on to grasping on to just one outcome with one person. Um, and of course, if you guys are in a commitment, then stay in that commitment. Don't keep your options open. Um, but yeah, if this person's like, hey, I'm not ready, then it's like, you know, you can very well keep keep your options open as well. Um, and, you know, even pray about it and ask for the happiest and um, best match for you t uh, to come into your life. And sometimes you just need a little time to yourself to do some prep work on your own as well. So, I mean, it could be for some of you that both of you are preparing on your own and then you will be aligning and coming together at a later date when you both have really um, maybe just really accomplished some things and really slain some of your own personal dragons and demons.
This person doesn't want to pull you into any of their remaining messes that they have to clean up. Okay, here's wait. Yeah, wow, this, this reading is all about timing here. Even this Four of Pentacles was coming across as the Seven of Pentacles, and that's often like a wait and patience type card. You know, things are, the harvest is still in, um, in progress. It's not ready yet. Um, have I lost everything? So they could still be getting over like that major loss, and they don't want to feel, they don't want to rush in only to have to go through that again, possibly. All right. And here is love is the answer. So interesting. Um, yeah, I do feel like they, they know that they do want love in their life. You know, they, they don't want to go their whole life and not have a loving relationship. I'm hurting and I'm upset with you. So that could be for those of you who did have a argument or breakup. And we have, I love you like no other as well as I am true to you. Okay, and then here's, I have a secret as well. Okay, these are interesting cards that came through here. All right, then we have, um, you're the only person in the world who really scares me. Yeah, because I can feel myself falling in love with you. I can see myself falling in love with you. Um, I love your sense of humor. That's amazing because I was feeling so many like, tricks and jokes coming through this reading. Lots of laughter with the sun, the nine of cups, the trick-or-treat card, the magician. Okay, you are my rose. Interesting. And I know who you are to me. So yeah, they, they could be really be like, yeah, I know. I have this deep knowing that um, we have a special connection, that you know we could be something together in the future. So something more. 